Plex Media Server does not directly support music video libraries, but it is possible to create an attractive and feature-rich music video experience in Plex with a little bit of work. This video demonstrates how to do this by using a TV library. This is a music video library as seen in the OpenPHT Plex Black interface. Each artist is set up as a show, and each music video as an episode. Note the poster art, background art, artist bio and genre information as we browse the library. Selecting an artist brings up the season selection screen. The one drawback of this approach is that there is no way to bypass this in most Plex clients at this time. Fortunately, it is just a click through. Theme music is part of the experience and begins to play once the artist is selected. Note the artwork and synopsis information that displays while navigating between videos. It is pretty clear that Plex can support a great music video experience, but this experience does come at the expense of some work that will make you appreciate all of the things that Plex normally does for you in the background. Let's see how this all works. The artist is the show in this library, and drilling into the folder structure exposes the foundation for the experience you just saw. I did not create season folders because they add no value and make it impossible to share the videos with the music library. An unavoidable drawback to this approach is that every video must have a season and episode number for this to work, and Plex can only sort by episode number or air date. .nfo files store information about shows and episodes in a standardized format. Plex does not support these files out of the box, but there is a Plex plugin that does, and setting it up will be covered in another video. The TV show NFO file includes artist name, biography, premiere date, studio, and genre tags. Poster.jpg and fanart.jpg provide poster and background art at the artist level. Theme.mp3 is the theme music that begins playing when the artist is selected. Each music video has background art and an NFO file. The NFO includes title, season and episode numbers, date the video premiered, and information about the video. This is all pretty straightforward. The downside is that it all needs to be done manually. I had to find and download every single piece of art. The NFO files had to be created manually and filled out with information I found online, mostly on Wikipedia. I had to extract the theme music from one of the videos, then edit it to start on the chorus. Some of the artwork required cropping and scaling. This is obviously a non-trivial amount of work. The good news is that a lot of this work is optional. Most Plex clients do not make use of background art, which saves a lot of time. Biographical and synopsis data is entirely optional. You can also take a pass on figuring out the original air dates unless you want to sort on that information. In other words, the amount of effort largely depends on what interface you choose and what you want to get out of it. Let's take a look at the library configuration in Plex. Note that the agent is the XBMC NFO TV importer. This is the plugin I mentioned earlier and is a critical component in making all this work. Without it, the only way to get the metadata into Plex is to enter it manually. With the plugin, all of this metadata is imported automatically, which is super useful if you ever need to rebuild the library. I hope this video was helpful. 
If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.